What's up you guys? Chad Guthrie the Dream Poet here coming to you all with another fun-filled vlog here in the city of New Orleans and today you guys I have something very gruesome and grim to tell you. A very sad story, a very gory story, but also a place that is filled with Hollywood film locations as well as the destruction of one Hollywood name's career. And this story begins with this mansion behind us. In order to tell the story of this Hollywood name's attachment to this mansion, we must go all the way back to 1838. You see, La Lalaurie, or Mistress La Lalaurie, she had a young slave girl. Now this slave girl, she was about six years old. Now, this young slave girl was fixing up Mistress La Lalaurie's hair. And now, as she was fixing it up, let's say this young six-year-old girl did something that made La Lalaurie very, very angry. La Lalaurie came out the, or this door right here and chased this young six-year-old girl along this balcony until she fell to her death right in this street right here. So somewhere the approximate site on this property here is where this young little girl fell. I don't know exactly where, but somewhere in the street this young girl fell. After this slave girl fell to her death from this balcony right here, this caused the city of New Orleans to investigate the situation at hand. You see, during the 1830s, during this time with French law, you see, you could not harm one of your slaves. The worst that you could give your slave would be a slap on the wrist. Go back to doing what they're doing, etc., etc. But this is where the police, the authorities, come up and they find that La Lalaurie had been abusing her slaves. Well, not long after this, La Lalaurie, her slaves are taken from her, but since she is a wealthy, or she married into a wealthy family, I should say, with her family and her married family that she married into, they were able to buy back all of her slaves. Well, this is where things get gruesome. You see, La Lurie, she goes back to abusing her slaves. She goes back to mistreating them because she almost feels like she has a calling to abuse these innocent people. But something happens. You see, one of her slaves decides to set this mansion on fire. If I'm not mistaken, it happened in 18, well, anyway, it happened around the 1840s, I believe. But as this building was burning, the authorities were running into this building to try to save everyone but the physician Lalaurie's husband would not let them go into the attic now this is where one of the slaves says there are more up there there are more up there you all need to save them well the doctor he refuses to let the authorities into the building he absolutely says no I am not letting you onto my property even though the building is being set on fire so the firefighters that are trying to break in trying to save as many people as they can they break into the attic and the site that they find is horrifying on this top story or this top floor right here I should say this is where they find about 30 slaves tied up to the wall chained up and it's not merely even just chained up they are chained up to a very big spiked contraption to where even if they fall asleep even in the slightest it will pierce into their neck and they will bleed out 
and that isn't even the most gruesome you see in a box about the size of a medium-sized dog they open it up and they find the remains of a person one of their slaves their legs had been sewn to where their arms should have been their arms should have or were sewn to where their legs should have been their mouth was sewn shut and when they did an autopsy on the body they found out that whatever this innocent person had done they filled this dead body's mouth with urine as if a way to torture them one last time but you see present day this is where the ghost stories take place you see there was a restaurant here there was if i'm not mistaken i think there was a hotel there at one point but either way every well i should say every business that has ever been in this building has only lasted a couple of years they all say they would hear these mysterious noises they would hear these moans coming from nowhere they would hear screams they'd hear shackles it would drive them mad and you see this is where nicholas cage gets involved you see nicholas cage he will buy this mansion and he will live in it for a few days but he keeps hearing the same thing that had been reported these moans these cries these wails these mysterious shadow figures that would appear from nowhere in fact it came to a point where he got into an apartment right over here just so he could watch his house to see if anything would take place now as all this took or all this took place it was driving nicholas cage insane that is when he contacts a sidekick and he asks them what can i do to have this curse lifted off of me when i bought this house and this is what the psychic tells him go to the st louis cemetery number one and build a 20-foot pyramid now this pyramid it only comes up to 16 feet and since then we'll say that nicholas cage's career has not recovered he is still in bankruptcy and some believe this building right here is what cursed nicholas cage's career but let me tell you all about how hollywood plays onto this site the famous television series american horror story they will film at this location and the season the series of stories was based on what la Lurie did to her slaves however it was not this building that was filmed it was this building right here you see some of the scenes from american horror story are probably very familiar some say well i shouldn't say some say but if you look at some see scenes mary laveau is handing a potion to la Lurie through this gate right here now there is a reason why they did not choose the mansion that is right across from us you see the la Lurie mansion is owned by the regions bank regions bank president um out in texas he's a multi-billionaire um he only he and his family they live in this mansion about every year or so which is really cool but um you see trying to get a hold of him would have been very hard um this building that we just looked at this one right here this one is a historical landmark and the owner of the building is relatively easy to get a hold of and that is the reason why they filmed this building right here and not the building that it was based on but you guys since we were out in new orleans i thought i would share with you all this very dark tale a tale of a cursed building with a maniacal woman a hollywood actor whose career still hasn't recovered to this day and hollywood who has memorialized this gruesome tale but you guys 
that's going to be another vlog for today. Remember, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Always means a lot. Goes to show that y'all care and y'all want to see more content. So without further ado, I love y'all very much. Vlog over.